Since the hurricane season has officially ended, I wanted to take a moment to summarize this year, since it was one of the most intense season I've ever been through. So let's dive it into what made the season so terrible and dangerous. The 2024 Atlantic hurricane season was highly active, destructive, and dangerous, which it became the second costliest season on record, which caused over $220 billion in damages and resulting in 400 fatalities, which most of these deaths were attributed to three major hurricanes, Barrow, Helene, and Milton. Of the 18 named storms that developed during the season, 11 reached hurricane strength, and 5 of these further developed into major hurricanes. This season accounted for the first time since 2019 to feature multiple Category 5 hurricanes, namely Barrow and Milton. The season was also the most active regarding ACE since 2020, with an accumulated total of 161.6 units. The 2024 Atlantic hurricane season officially began on June 1st and ended on November 30, which I believe this is one of the worst hurricane seasons that I experienced, particularly of the number of how many people have died from it, and the damages too, which nearly became the costliest hurricane in history. In the late September, Hurricane Helene formed in the Western Caribbean and then made landfall of Florida as a Category 4 hurricane causing severe damage. Hurricane Kirk also reached a Category 4 strength before hitting Europe as a post-tropical cyclone. During October, four named storms formed including Hurricane Milton, which developed in the Gulf of Mexico and became the second Category 5 hurricane in the season, making landfall near Siesta Key as a Category 3 hurricane. The other two were Tropical Storm Nadine and Hurricane Oscar, with Hurricane Oscar making landfall over Inagua and Cuba. In the early November, Hurricane Rafael struck Western Cuba as a Category 3 hurricane and became the strongest November hurricane in Gulf history. The final storm, Tropical Storm Sarah, moved slowly westward of Honduras before making landfall in Belize, bringing heavy rainfall to Central America. 